of the 2001 Ford Expedition uh, tune-up with replacing spark plugs. Um, on the other side, it was pretty difficult on the two back ones um, to get a clear view with uh, two sets of arms in there. Um, but they're pretty much all the same. Uh, these ones on the driver's side will actually be angled towards the front instead of the back like the other side. On this side, we need to remove um, this bracket to get to the first one. I'm using a power tool, but you can do this with uh, any hand tool as well. This bracket sitting right over that first spark plug. That gives us a clear access to that plug there and the coil. Remember on these underneath is the tab to unplug the coil itself. Now we can get to the coil retaining screw it's on the back side. And also if any of you like these videos, please put a like on there. And also if you have any comments or suggestions or criticism, please put them on there or let us know what you'd like to see and we'll try to upload that next video. Okay, we're gonna pull out the coil there. Get our socket down in there. Remember when you do spark plugs, they're like brake components. Don't ever use power tools. Use them. Always put them in and out by hand. It'll save twisting threads out of the aluminum block. There's our spark plug. I remember all of ours were previously gapped before we started this. We're going right in with the new one. And remember, we're doing this on a cold engine. Don't ever do it right after you've driven it. And we're going to snug her down. Get her nice and snug. Set our coil back in. This is a magnetic uh, socket, so it holds the bolt. If you don't have that, sometimes you can use a piece of uh, electrical tape in your normal socket and it'll hold it so you can get it down in there without trying to squeeze your fingers in that little hole. Okay, that one's done. Plug the coil back on. Move on to the next one. Sometimes it's difficult to get video on a vehicle like this because everything's all crammed in there. But we'll do the best we can to get you the best view. Pull your coil out a little bit away from the fuel rail. You can pull it straight out. <clears throat> I'm 
And if you're a little short and you want to work up here, you can use two extensions. Give you more leverage. plug one thing you want to make sure of is when you have the spark plug out you have to remember understand that that hole is an opening all the way into your engine so you do not want to drop anything in there because if you do it may be almost impossible to retrieve and if you start the engine with something in there, it'll be on top of the cylinder head. It could cause serious engine damage, and that could cost you a lot of money. We'll drop the coil back in. Okay, that's number two. Now we're going after number three on this side. So no a lot of freaking things in the way. <coughs> okay, we'll be right back with the next part of replacing the last two spark plugs.